So what is architecture? What, I, what is architecture? I thought you said why is architecture? <laughs> now what is architecture? Um, for me, architecture is um, in a way background. It's it's only that what we uh, experience somewhere in in the background we we maybe overemphasize uh, uh, architecture uh, too much as something that is so primarily there always in the foreground. But I I do think that. Um, what is the most fascinating aspect of uh, architecture is that it brings people together, that it can engineer uh, events, uh, happenings, uh, that it can uh, create a particular kind of social uh, um, environment. Um, and maybe with architecture you can provoke and then uh, enhance a particular kind of uh, social uh, discourse. Mm -hmm. But but that is what I like the most that it generates other activities and and liveliness among people uh, in it. Um, so I, with that I will not uh, uh, make architecture less important, but maybe give, give it an essential quality towards the way how it uh, um, is doing more than only uh, emphasizing its uh, autonomy. And uh, what would you say is the, the difference between uh, a building and architecture? Or is there? No, I do believe that there is a difference. I mean, if you talk about architecture, then I often like to talk about the profession, you know, and the, and the discipline itself. So there is a big difference between the discipline and, and, and maybe what is architecture um, or building and, 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 and the discipline. So. I like it to think of that there is a world of a phenomenon of the history of the of the of architecture where where we can um, where we can learn from, you know. And and if there is a history, then I always think, yeah, probably then there is also a space to think about the future of architecture, you know. So if 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 we have if if there is a particular kind of quality of a historical uh, depth to be found. Mm -hmm. In, for instance, in Dutch architecture, why could you not start to speculate with this in 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 a future whereby it could do other things without uh, or maybe not without, but mm, with a quality of what you can find in that history of architecture, what is interesting to you? Mm -hmm. So we already started to answer the second question: what uh, architecture can do? Yeah. Yeah, maybe maybe it's what I said about what 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 it can generate, and I, I like I said, it generates wonderful public life, mm -hmm. and for that reason, maybe the organization of architecture is so important. So the way how you can um, discovering the organization more than than I find often in the form of architecture. The organization is the key of architecture. Mm -hmm. um, how do you position yourself in the discourse of architecture? I I'm interested in um, in research. I I like to innovate. I I'd like to believe that we change boundaries, mm -hmm. and I I think that um, that of course it's very difficult to invent the new architecture um, every day. Mm -hmm. It's it's the same for an artist who says that he thinks about culture every day. I think it's not possible. <laughs> uh, maybe you can think about it, but. What you can do with it is, uh, is, uh, is that you can only make small steps in the progression of uh, call it architecture or the discourse of architecture. Mm, for that reason I believe that, um, that it is important to teach, to, to keep on going on with the dialogues I have with my colleagues or Mm, that I internally keep the, the dialogue going about what is the position of the architect, you know, is there still a uh, future position as we have seen the role of the architect uh, as, as before? Um, can we be artists? Can we be scientists? Can we be um, a public scientist? Maybe maybe I see myself more as a public scientist uh, in that sense than, than, uh, than as an architect. Is there like a kind of set of ideas or, um, or theory maybe that is uh, the underlying um, um, groundwork of all of your projects? Is there something that... Uh 
No, there is not one theory, but 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 I I often think of uh, the quality of the of the of the work itself, you know, and the the physical or the hard side of the the, the work itself. Call it the the objects you make, mm -hmm. and it could be you know that in our work that could could be almost everything today. I mean, we would luckily enough build a nice scope so wide that and yeah and that is done in order to make sure that we can recombine them or hybridize them through one project for instance mm -hmm. if you see a chair of us then or or maybe even a department store you know for me often the uh, crazy mm -hmm. unusual department store can turn in in my opinion into um, kind of a half half a museum mm -hmm. because I make the objects like mm -hmm. as they can be seen as uh, artworks and and maybe people coming to department store can be there for themselves to be seen and to socialize in a place where they maybe today do that not anymore on the square here in the north of Europe or in China so I think of new kind of public uh, reinterpretations of of of, of use um, and that's why I'm so interested in uh, social science for instance uh, as I said um, and then hybridize the ideas of there where we are so brought in in the architecture. And uh, what is your preferred design method? Do you have one? Um, no, we work highly diverse. You know, we, we sometimes work uh, from the sketch or a computer analysis whereby we script and then. Um, you know, the scripts might be brought into a series of sketch models or printed models. We work sometimes with uh, the flow of people on the side and we analyze all the user groups on the side and then turn them into a time model and then see what kind of yeah, organizations that brings to the location again. So we have so many ways of uh, working that um, and that is related to uh, the way how with that also we don't uh, generate a particular kind of hopefully style also in our work you know we maybe you know that that, that the work is high, highly diverse simply because um, I do believe in the quality of that what is to be found behind the architecture as I said in the beginning um, the organization or the the after image of architecture, you know, I'm more interested in what, that what you not see in the first go, in the in the first bang of what you um, what you might experience in the building itself, but that you can discover and that that you and with that uh, you can create after thoughts of that what you have experienced in the building and and often I've discovered that in the way how you through different ways of using uh, uh, different qualities of techniques you use. That you then with that also can deepen the experiences of architecture. 